Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Gex jumping back into Tabriel to um, oh, in the world of oh, the world of Tab the world of Tabriel to play Oblivion. There we go. And look at this gorgeous view. Look at this amazing, amazing view. Now there are a couple of things I want to do. I definitely want to. Um, what were we actually doing? Pilgrimage? No, we don't want to do that. Why is that our active quest? I don't want that. Are we we? Oh yeah, it basically has now got to the point where we have to go to Kavach, Essentially, I'm not doing that one. Told by one of the oh yeah, there was a corruption going on, wasn't there? Seeking your roots. No, we don't want that. Tears of the Savior. That could be interesting. But before we do that, like I say just just stonkingly beautiful view. Gorgeous. I mean, the draw distance is quite impressive there. I mean, obviously it's an incredibly low res um, texture over there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's still it's still all good. And even that, I mean, again, looks looks compared to modern games, it looks pretty terrible. But just beautiful. beautiful. Anyway, what I need to do, I'm going to wait at least two days, because I can't remember if I've already done this or not, but I need to wait at least, I think, three days, and then go back to Coral and speak to um, the lady in the shop who should say, or speak to people in Coral who should say, that woman, Dharma or whatever it is, has gone missing, and we need to find her, and then we can trigger, finally trigger, Shadow of a Hector, which is, I know I keep hyping about it, it's not even that big a deal, it's really not that big a mission, or quest, but, uh, oh, a bit more overcast today, we do one more, and then I'll say I'm going to travel to Coral, it's just because it's got a vague connection to Shadow over Innsmouth, um, and obviously that's, that's just a fantastic little novella, by the genius that was, Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Anyway, enough talk about Lovecraft. I, I, I've been playing a lot of Lovecraft board games and card games and stuff recently, so... And audiobooks, and basically everything. Anyway, 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 stop talking about that. Right, let's let's go to Coral. Would it be quicker to... No, let's let's just fast travel to Coral. Let's do this the easy way. No, I would say easy way, but then I'm, I got a bit confused where I was going. Well, I might have to wait, because when I arrive, it'll probably be... Way! So sensitive. It'll probably be middle of the night, so we might have to wait again. Now, this should be enough, and then hopefully the angry woman who's who's annoyed that we gave her book away isn't stomping about. I don't know if after a certain amount of time whether she comes and beats you up. I oh, know it is day. What time is it? It's pretty much exactly this. Okay, it took us pretty much an exact day to get out. Hang on. What can I do for you? Tell me about Darma. No rumors. Did you hear? Here we go. Darma has disappeared. Uh, no, missing daughter. Seedneus is worried sick about her daughter, Dharma. If you think you can help, you'll find her at her shop, Northern Goods and Trade. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So we finally triggered that mission, which is Take just care. over here. Have we still got our... Yeah, we have. Still got our frosty astronach. Uh, right, here we go. And she'll say, my daughter, she went to hack dirt, and then she, she's just disappeared. Here she is. Hello. I don't mean to impose, but I'm hoping you can help me. My daughter, Dharma, is missing, and I don't know what to do. I mean, I like the fact that, as I say, she's just a shopkeeper. It's like, imagine, you know, if you if you ran a small shop and some customer that doesn't even come in that often walked in the door and you had this problem, would you say to them, can you help me find my daughter? I mean, it's unlikely. Missing daughter. That's right. My daughter, Dharma, never came back from Hector. I'm dreadfully worried something may have happened to her. Can you help? I suppose so. Yes, I'll help found, find a Dharma. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to a Tira Moslem in Hector, so I would stop there. In case it may be useful, she was with Blossom, her horse, I mean. Dharma loves that animal and would never willingly abandon her. Right, Hector. Let's see what she tells us about Hector. A rather isolated village south of Coral. We do some business with the trader. <coughs> Small volume, but she pays well. Normally I make the deliveries, but I wasn't feeling well, so Dharma insisted on going this time. I do hope nothing has happened to her. I suspect something may have happened to her. Joffrey! And, uh, hang on, Dharma, let's see if she... The best daughter a mother could ask for. Kind-hearted and a friend to everyone she meets. And a perfect sacrifice to the Deep Ones. No spoilers. Um... <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, did she say anything else? Have you found? I haven't found her yet. I am. Okay, okay, okay. What does she teach? Does she teach? Oh, mercantile. Of course, of course. Any other rumors? There's some strange dark elf in town. Ask oh. about Renal Germain and his brother. Interesting. 
strange dark elf. I mean, we've already, <coughs> excuse me, we've already completed that quest with the, the brothers. That's weird, I wonder who... Is it you? You're a strange dark elf. Yes. Is it you? I mean, you're a dark elf and you're strange, but... In Coral, we Highlanders treat our God's teachings as rules to live by. Our lives are governed by the Ten Commands. The Ten Commands. Not the Ten Commandments, just the Ten Commands. Okay, maybe it's not you. Maybe there's another strange dark elf in town. Should we have a quick scan to see if we can find this other strange dark elf? I actually also... I don't know. It would kind of be fitting to go to Hector in the evening, I guess. Oh, there's that woman again. I'm not seeing any dark elves over there. That was always one slight thing about this game, is that they're, they're, the actual numbers of people populating these towns always seemed a little bit on the low side, but then, of course, you know, there's a limit to what the console could do back then. Right. Oh, Jesus, someone's going a bit ham over there. Right, so we'll head to... Actually, we need to change that to our active quest, don't we? A shadow of a Hector. I've agreed to look for Darma, the daughter of Steve Nias of Coral. I should go to Hector and speak to Itira Boslu, the owner of the village store. This reminds me as well. Oh yeah, there's a horse as, as well involved. If I find the horse, Dalmar is likely nearby. Um, it's also reminds... Hang on, where's my horse? What's happened to What's happened to my horse? The heart attacks! Have I told it to wait somewhere? Can you tell a horse to wait? I know you can lead a horse to water. Hang on. Uh, sorry, yeah, this also reminds me of a very old kind of black and white Christopher Lee well, sort of Christopher Lee film, he's in it briefly. Um, well, it's got two names. It's called City of the Dead in the States, and it's called Horror at Hell in, um, in Europe, or in the UK at least. And it, this, this quest kind of reminds me a bit about that as well. Um, but anyway, if you've seen that film, you may get certain vibes. I'm going to explore as much of Hector as I can, and also, I'm going to try to not aggro anyone, which is easier said than done. Um, but anyway, it's a sort of cult type thing going on. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Cat is the cat. The cat uh, Onyx is um, vying for attention. Right. Oh, hello. Bit of pop, bit of pop in there. That is the start of hack dirt. Now, as I say, you have to be a little bit careful. They're they're sort of sort of hostile. They don't openly attack you. Not at the start, anyway. But they they aren't keen on outsiders. Um, I'm going to try and engage with a couple and possibly put their disposition up so they don't kick off too much. Look at this, the place is wrecked. There's a story behind why this is wrecked, and we'll probably pick up that point. Boslin's Inn, that's like the, um, the Raven, I think it's called the Raven Hotel. Yeah, Raven Hotel in City of the Dead. Is anyone about? There's normally villagers wandering about, where is everyone? I say everyone, there's like three people. And that's the spooky church, because I say it's definitely got, yeah, what's I say? Church, Chapel of the Brethren. I mean, that sounds creepy enough, doesn't it? Um, oh, hello. Now, you ain't welcome here. You ain't welcome here. However, I'm going to put your disposition up and that will make you like me. You will like me. Okay, I'll probably cut this bit out because it always takes a bit of time to do. That's just stupid. Okay, we've we've bumped his disposition up. I got nothing to say to you. He still doesn't like me. Outsiders have always tried to destroy us, but we've always survived. I'm not trying to destroy anyone, uh, mate. Natch Pinder. I wonder if he's any relation to Lucy. Um... I attempt to stick my head in the door. They don't like you going in the church, though, because they're, they're a bit of a secular kind of community, and obviously they see that as interfering. Um, let's poke her head in the door of this one, because this is where we're supposed to be. We need to we need to investigate what's happened to Darba. So she arrived here to drop off some goods. Oh, it's him again. Hello. What? What? Uh, I'm going to again do her disposition. So, great. How's it going? There we go, more disposition maxed. Uh, will she talk to me now? We scrape by. Not that we've ever had naught but trouble from outsiders like you. You'd best be moving on if you know what's good for you. Well, I had a couple of questions, love. I don't know any Dharma. If you're talking about that cursed Argonian swindler from Coral, I'd like to know where she is too. She never showed up. How am I supposed to run a shop without any merchandise? You tell her I want half off on my next delivery. Ah, uh, now, hang on. Has she got anything worth quick. selling? She sells bear pelts and iron arrows. Oh, she's got some money. I could possibly sell something. Uh, if I've got anything worth selling. Um, potion of healing. I mean... I 
don't know. Why not? You probably cheated me, didn't you? What? I'm not trying to cheat anyone. Um, if you got any, if I got anything else that's worth flogging, probably not. She seems to buy quite a lot of stuff. Major heal other. I mean, don't really need that, do we? Uh, that'll do. If you're done shopping, you'd best be moving along. They're so welcoming, aren't they? But anyway, there are also. I don't know if there's one in here. Yeah, there is. Look, trap doors. Mostly in this basement. Now, all of the houses in here and elsewhere are sort of connected via an underground passage or underground sort of subterranean network thing. Um, oh, it's getting dark. You don't want to be stuck here overnight. Um, look, he's, look, he's, look, 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 he's following us. Suspicious. I think. Where did I see that other. Is he actually following us? Or is he just one? Yeah, he is. Look, he's keeping an eye on what we're up to. There is, there are other trapdoors, another couple outside somewhere, I can't remember exactly where they are. Yeah, look. Look at that, spooky. I think we're allowed in here without anything happening. You shouldn't be in this You better leave before somebody gets hurt. Now there's a book here that we want to get before we go. Bible of the Deep Ones, which is about as Lovecraftian as you could possibly get. Anyway, we're going to go to that, um... Hotel with our new buddy. We've got a new companion. Come on, Dutch. You're part of the gang now. Uh, let's have a look in here then. What's it called? Moslin's. Most Icely Cantina. Moslin's. Moslin's Inn. Moslin's Inn. Whatever it is. Where is he? There you are. Are you Moslin? You're not welcome around here. Well, thank you very much. Um, again, disposition. So, that's. Really? Whatever you want. There we go, so we've maxed his disposition as well. Let's see what he says about Tacta. My grandfather built this place, not that it's any of your business. We've been down, but we got plans to bring back the good old days. You'll see. Yeah, they oh, I can't remember what else happened here. There's some other stuff went on as well. Anyway, let's see. Who? Nah, I haven't seen any young women around. Even if I had, why would I know anything about her going missing? Not that I'm saying I ever seen her, because I haven't. God, these are so much like the Innsmouth locals in the story. Anyway, bed. I guess we've got a room available. Thirty gold per night. Take it or leave it. Oh yeah, you want outsiders to f off, but you're quite happy to take my money, aren't you? I'll take it. Fine. Take the stairs up to the right. Uh, the room on the left. No visitors allowed, and no pets. When you say no pets, are you a pet? I don't know. And what are you still following me about? I'm trying to get some kip. Now in here. There's another trapdoor in the corner of that room, as you can see. We're just going to follow. Both of you are now going to follow me. Oh, I, okay. I thought that was a portrait or something. Yeah, okay. Mostly just guest rooms. Okay. Is that guy actually going to. Literally, they're all following me. Yeah, that's. Okay. This is supposed to be my room. Um, what I might have to do here, just so I can get a little look at the other room. I think if you actually. Where is it gone? What is it? Ghost walk, isn't it? I think if you, um, if you apparently disappear, then they might F off. Hello, mate. This is, this is Darba's room. Yeah, look, see? He's like, oh, he's gone. Or she's gone, should I say. Now, there is somewhere. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. I do vaguely remember this quest. Where the hell is it? Is that there? Open drawers. Dharma's Diary, here we go. I found Dharma's Diary uh, in the inn in Hector. In the inn in Hector. <laughs> I should confront the innkeeper with this evidence and see if he changes his story. Let's actually have a look to see what it says. Uh, where is it? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's actually classed as a stolen item. Read. Uh, this is apparently the diary of a young Argonian named Dharma. Most of the book deals with personal but mundane details of her life in Coral. The only interesting entry is the last one. Arrived in Hackdirt after dark due to Blossom throwing a shoe on the way. Ah, so that's why she was late when the shopkeeper said she was late. The road was really rough. Hardly more than a track. Doesn't anyone else ever come down here? The trader's shop was closed and she wouldn't come to the door even though I could see a light in the upstairs window. Rude. But at least this inn was open, although the proprietor is kind of creepy. Kept giving me these weird grins when he thought I wasn't looking. Ugh, what's wrong with his face? Again, more references to Shadow of Rinsworth there. Seems like I'm the only one staying... Hang on, have I skipped a page? No. Seems like I'm the only one staying here tonight. I didn't see much of the town since it was already dark, but I admit to being kind of spooked, but I'll never admit that to Mother. Or she'd never let me go on another one of these deliveries. She still thinks I'm just a baby. She would probably say hatchling, and in front of my friends too. Remember to ask her about the creepy innkeeper. 
uh, when I get home. Well, the candle is almost burned down. They don't even provide a lantern in this horrible old inn, so I guess I'd better try to get some sleep, if I can even sleep with all the creaking in this old place. I keep thinking I hear footsteps outside the door. I'm so on edge. Grow up, Dar. I'm sure in the morning it will all seem quaint and charming. Good night, diary. Interesting. Again, so many little references there to, to Shadow over Endsworth, anyway. Yeah, you see the room's wrecked, basically. So there was a bit of a struggle. Now, 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 now. I need to, I need to. Okay, we're going to speak to the innkeeper again. I'm going to stop crouching. Oh, this happened last time. I remember this. Got stuck in his, in, in the desk. Don't like strangers poking their noses into our business. I bet you don't. Anything else about Darba? Oh, you meant the Argonian witch. Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, she was here, then she left. I don't know nothing else about it. Yeah, of course you don't. Why didn't she take her things then? Huh? Huh? And doing a CSI and him. CSI hacked her. How would I know? Maybe she went crazy and run off into the woods. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got things to do. I've got things to do, like try and work out how to get out of this desk that I've got myself wedged in. Look at him. And the thing is, he's going to keep trying to follow me, but he can't. Which is perfect, because we need to go down here in a bit. Oh, it's got an average lock. Mind you, we've got a solution for that. Um, where is it? Uh, open average lock. Kapow. Okay. So now that he's stuck in there, and I might put Ghost Walk on again. Ghost Walk is surprisingly useful, actually. Uh, we're going to go into the network underneath here, because they're basically saying, because I think that's essentially as far as you can go without getting into it. Uh, Vlan Honda Moslin admits that Dharma arrived in Hacked Up, but now it still denies knowing anything about her disappearance. I am sure that foul play was involved, and will continue my search of the town for any sign of her. You have to be a bit careful, because it depends on what time of day you go into these caves. I found a trapdoor that seems to lead to caverns beneath Hackdirt. I should enter these caverns and search for Dharma. Well, we're going to do that. But there are we're not alone down here, so we have to be a little bit cautious. Also, I'm gonna Alright, let's let's there we go. Now, I'm going to let my mana build up a little bit, just so that I can paralyse anyone that runs at us. Cause, but yeah, there are there are going to be like cultists down here, so we have to be a little bit careful. Oh, there's one, for example. Yep. No, and I missed! Tits. I can't see. Nice. So he should be weak to frost. Oh! Did I hit my lot, though? No. Nice. Actually, it should be, should be fine. Because, as I say, he's been chill rendered. Nice! Punch to the floor. <laughs> he's going for a look in that cage. There's Dharma! I shall be with you momentarily. Bang on, look at these. Hackner brethren. He's got some gold. And some pants. I should hope he's got pants. Hang on, what weapon did he have? He had some kind of weapon. Gold knows. Okay. Oh, he had a club. There we go. He was a member of a very ex exclusive club. What's happening? Okay, I thought the music had kicked off again. So yeah, these are the caverns beneath Hacta. There's lots of ladders going up. Oh, I see another one. Actually, I might be able to freeze this punk. Where did he go? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's two of them. Of course there are. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's three of them. Four of them. There's loads of them. Uh, what's the, the hug one? That's the one. Almost certainly get it. Really? Stop attacking my stop attacking my Atronach. Holy smokes! Nice, another one dead. I don't have enough mana. Hang on, I, I absolutely don't want my uh, want my Olaf want Olaf to die. Uh, no! Don't use fire! That close to Oh no! No no no! F off mate! He's probably going to get F'd up. There's loads of them! 
Oh, I'm gonna need to take another one. And another one. I ain't got a day drop anymore. Hang on. Oh no! Okay, he's nearly... Yeah, there we go. We won! Just... Holy smokes, we got absolutely mobbed. I was not expecting that. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Now, you see, normally, you creep through the caverns and deal with them one at a time. However, <laughs> the plan did, I didn't quite go according to plan. You alright, Olaf? Just. You gave these lots of war mugs, didn't you? Gold emerald ring, and nightshade, and a soul gem. Sweet. And a hack dirt key. Sweet. Nice. And what did you lot have? Oh, that was a woman, that one. I was like, why is... Okay. Oh, ebony ring. We don't really need another hack dirt key. So Nightshade must be part of their ritual. See, essentially, they they worship these lot, the Slowed, who are in... I mean, they're supposed to be like the Deep Ones um, in in Lovecraft's Mythos. And I mean, that you know, which basically is the closest thing in, in Elder Scrolls lore to Deep Ones. They look like giant sort of toad fish things. Um, and they are... Oh, I'm probably not going to get it to work here. If uh, if you go to this bottom corner where this skeleton is, and if you turn up the volume, I might try and I might try and increase the volume of the game just for a minute. You can hear these kind of weird noises as though there's something these deep ones or whatever are just behind or somewhere down this this rock like with this tunnel where it's all collapsed. Um, but anyway, I'll just give it a second to see if we can hear any weird sounds. Hang on a minute, Olaf's in the way. I'm, I'm going to get him to stay, stay here, wait there, so he's not clomping around because that's a bit distracting. And also, if I turn the... what do I want to turn down? Music. There we go. It's only a very brief bit, but those kind of weird... I know there's the wind noise playing, obviously, but there's also a kind of a... noise as well going on down there. And as I say, it's supposed to be as close as you ever get to see the, um, the deep ones in this. Wow, hang on, that's still incredibly loud, isn't it? There we go. There we go. So, follow me. Nice. I think that's all of the cult is dealt with, actually. The Atronag Familiar is now following. Olaf is now following. He nearly flurried then. He very nearly flurried. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this out. Okay, it didn't actually take me too long. Nice. Oh, it's only 73 gold. Worthless. I'm going to take those just for... I'm not, no, I'm not. I was going to say you're going to take those just to make it seem like it was more worthwhile, but it didn't even let me take them. Fair enough. But yeah, this is where they sort of meet and do their sacrifices to the deep ones who are down there. But anyway. Um, oh, hello. Is that another chest in there? No. Damn it. Yeah, there's, there's say, many different sort of ways into these caverns. Yeah, there's another set of stairs there. I don't want to come out the wrong one. But we need to be a bit careful here, because we need to get Dharma out, Dharma out, without triggering or aggroing everyone in the village. Which is easier said than done. I just, I love this whole thing. It's just the whole kind of cult thing, kidnapping her to sacrifice her. But anyway, there we go. Right, Please, love. let me out of here. You must help me escape. I think these creatures plan to do something horrible to me tonight. Uh, now do I do it now or do I? I know three of them. There's about five in the village, and I know three of them. I've now maxed the disposition, which makes it less likely that they attack you. We just have to be very careful which one we appear in. Hang on, not yet. I need to. What are you doing? You 
can't leave me here to die. I'm not going to. Mother! My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. I know. I just need to very quickly um, check to make sure which of these ladders. I don't want to end up appearing in somebody's house. Uh, I want to be. Where does this one go? See, this just says hacked it. Does this just take me above ground? Yeah, this would probably be a good one to. Yeah, that would probably be a good one to to appear in, and then we could then we could sneak. Which you can't, I forgot where I'm, okay. Is it? Yeah, here we go. Right, now I shall let you out. Thank you. I have freed Dharma from the clutches of the foul creatures that infest Hector. I'm not sure they infest it, if you now to escape and deliver her back to Thingy Bob. Right, follow me. Don't go pelting off. Yeah, I think she does actually stay with me, which is quite handy, rather than just I hate it in games when you're supposed to be rescuing somebody or whatever. And they literally just go running off ahead of you and it's like are you trying to get murdered? If we get s horse, I can't leave her here. Can you? I don't want to pickpocket you. Can you like wait there a second? Where? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? You're literally walking through the middle of Hector. Uh, what's happening? Why are you choosing this? Does that go down there as well? No, I thought I might go to the, the caves. What is happening? She's, a, she's going right through the middle of the village, and B, she's just like wandering at such a leisurely pace. What are you doing? What are you after? Oh, your horse. Your kingdom for a horse. That was quite a good animation if I get on it. Am I supposed to take you all the way back to Coral, or are you going to go on your own? What should I do? <laughs> oh. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's fine. You're on a horse, but you're right behind me. Okay. So. Okay, we are essentially out of Hector now. I am going to go back to Hector because I want to get that Bible y thing. What are you doing? Is that you? You're on a horse! I thought the whole point of being on a horse was so you'd be quicker. Look! Look at this! Oh my god! Oh, sh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Literally jumped out my skin because I didn't. Uh, I, I forgot I'd cast it. I pressed the button and then was thinking oh, I'll cast it in a minute. And then I turned around and there was a daydroth in my face. You're literally gonna just just go at that speed. Not even a trot. Not even a canter. <sighs> oh my god! It's gonna take a yonks to get back. And I want that Bible. Bible of the Deep Ones. It's written in a kind of really weird, nonsensical language. What I might do, as you'll see, what I might do is... Because uh, she can die, by the way. This character can get murdered on the way back. Oh, come on! What are you doing? Where's she gone? I might edit this bit out, because it's obviously clearly going to take forever. Thank you for rescuing oh. me. My mother will be so pleased when we arrive back in Coral safe. Let's go. If we ever get back there, look at this. If this was Red Dead Redemption, I'd like fire a gun behind the horse or slap the horse on the ass to make it move quicker. I may have a bit of a proposition involving the Germain family so recently assisted. Oh, this is Fathis Ulis. I've heard that name. Anyway, this is the, obviously the weird dark elf. We've pretty much got Dharma back to Coral, by the way. She's like just wandering next to us. I did a wait thing, and then this just appeared. Uh, Germain family. It was kind of you to escort the Germains back to Weatherly. However, the original owner of Weatherly left them an even greater legacy. In fact, there's quite a bit more to their family history than meets the eye. Want to hear about it? Uh, all right, I guess. Sure, I'll listen. Excellent. Curiosity should never be denied, is it not so? And who knows, my story may prove profitable to both of us once it has come to its end. My tale actually begins with the father, Albert Germain. He was once in my employ, or should I say, the employ of my organization. 
He was very good at obtaining things that people did not want to part with. A professional thief, to put it bluntly. He was assigned to obtain a very valuable item for me. He succeeded, but decided to keep this item for himself. An unfortunate decision. He fled from Koro with his family and was never heard from again. Only his small son, Reynard, was found, wandering alone in the wilderness. Naturally, my associates and I believed he had perished. The wilderness is, after all, a dangerous place. No place to take your family. Then, these many years later, voila, the brother reappears. It seems the rest of the family did not die in the wilderness after all. Interesting. Okay, what do you want me to do? Indeed. What is the point of my tale? Albert Germain builds Weatherly way out in the middle of nowhere. He was a thief, not a farmer. The only reason to establish such a place would be to stay out of the Coral Guard's sight. I believe that the item Albert stole, which rightly belongs to me, was hidden at the Weatherly settlement. Unfortunately, the notorious Red Guard Valley Ogres ransacked the place and probably took all of the loot back with them. If you were to obtain this item somehow and bring it to me, I would pay you very well for it. I can get you started by telling you where the ogres live. The rest is up to you. Interesting. Okay, what is the stolen item though? What got nicked? I do not care to describe it. You will know it when you see it, I think. It is not something one of the ogres should have in his possession. Right. So it could be a book or something. I don't know. Jermaine family. Gilbert and Reynard know nothing of their father's past deeds. If you want to tell them about it, suit yourself. Interesting. Okay. And about Albert? There isn't much to tell you about Albert Germain. He was one of my best. Then he got greedy. The rest is history. So is this guy something to do with the Thieves Guild then? Or he says one of my best. Anyway, let's see. Okay. Yeah, the Red Guard Valley Ogres are not known. I know, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Hang on, did he get is he giving us a new quest then? Yeah, sins of the father shall fall upon the children. Um She's presumably have I done it then? I freed down my deliver section. Okay, now to escape I've done that. Hasn't she gone back to Coral? Or do I have to go all the way in and speak to Osso Face? And then I'll dash back to Hackdirt. Grab that Bible. Which will definitely endear me to the population of Hackdirt. Nicking their Bible. And it's just because it's a reference to the deep ones. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Because it's the middle of the night, I might not be allowed in. I'm not allowed in. Damn it, I have to wait till morning. Seven, eight. I like the fact she left her horse, by the way, like outside the city, just on the road. It's like, I love Blossom more than anything. What horse? Okay, let's see. I don't know what I mean, what the. Maybe they give us a discount in here or something like that for, for that. Hello? It's my pleasure. Please continue. You're not going to mention the daughter thing without me. Yeah, missing daughter. Have you found her? She's Did standing you next to you. Yes, Darmar, he's safe. She's literally next to you. Thank you. Thank you. I can never repay you for your gift of my daughter's life. But you have my friendship and gratitude to the end of my days. Right, okay. Fair enough. That's literally it. I don't get any... Okay. Are you happy to be back? My hero. Damn right. I, I see wedding I hear wedding bells. Okay, come on in. Olaf, we're going back to Hack Dirt quickly. You look skilled in alteration. You again. I do love the way that, that you can. Is that Blossom? No. That you can. Where the hell is my horse? God knows. Anyway. Pay good money for that and the armour. Look, Blossom's just standing here like, what did I do wrong? Anyway. Um, yeah, I love the fact that, as I say, you're just wandering about completing quests and then in the meantime you just pick up new quests. I love it. Like, these sins of the father just came out of nowhere. And again, nothing's ever straightforward in this game. You know, one thing kind of snowballs into another. I like that. In most games that would just be it. You know, once you've got their their house bell ouch house back for them, that'd be it, you know. 
quest done, moving on kind of thing. Whereas, as I say, in this, it's, um, you know, leads to something else. All is not as it seems, and I like that. I like that when there's kind of twists and turns in things. Moral ambiguity and all that sort of thing. Like in Mass Effect, had a few things like that. You had these quests that seemed pretty straightforward, and then you'd get both sides of the story, and you're like, Ugh, actually, actually, I'm not sure where I stand on this. And I like it. Hang on, something's trying to kill me. Ow! I should effing bear. Oh, ow! Uh, Olaf? Hang on, what I need to do... No, what I need to do... You can fight that thing. No, not me! Okay, I should be able to... Nice! Finish it! <laughs> nice. Nice! Thank you. you. Saved my day. My hero. Okay, we're at Hector. I did think for a horrible second that it was some, the, the denizens of Hector realising what I'd done were coming piling after me, but I don't think they are. Look at that. Yeah, it's supposed to be that the kind of nearby city of Coral didn't like what this village was up to and thought they were a bit weird and all that and came and just basically smashed up their village. Hello? And thought, right, well, you know, we don't like, we don't like what's going on here. Something suspicious. And he's like, obviously never forgave them. Let's have a little look. So I think you could you could read it. Given to me by the chief of the deep ones. As I say, they're supposed to be slow, slowed, slowed or slowed. I can't remember. But uh, if you look online at what slowed or slowed are, then you'll um, you'll see. He taught me his language and his runes. This is the ancient law of his people, which we shall follow from now until forever. Signed in the presence of twelve witnesses. And you see, it's that. It's almost letters, but not quite. That first bit looks like it's in something. If you squint, it almost looks like letters. But anyway, it's all, it's all that. Uh, anyway. Yoink! Stolen your deep one Bible. Just because it's obviously a kind of a rare item. There is a, a kind of a, a high priest, dude. There's you, Natch Pinder. You go to church? You may find that something's missing. I had nothing to do with it. Anyway, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Um, I do love. There's something about Hector. I really, I really like it. It's got this kind of history and story and lore behind it. It's just, again, so many games just wouldn't bother with that kind of level of detail. The Elder Scrolls. Yes. Anyway, um, I was like, what is this thing over here? Anyway, there's another dungeon. I might start the next part by having a little because we haven't done a, a dungeon crawl for a while, have we? There's a. There's a bear and something. That's not the one I meant to kill. Okay. You hurry up and appear. Where the hell are you going? No! Nice. Do you need healing? A little bit? Do you need a warm hug? There we go. You don't get hugs. That's two bears. A black bear and a brown bear. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to end this part here. Bambi! See how close we can get before we freak it out. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Hello. You're actually running at me. No! What? There was no need for that. It was not a, th it was not a threat at all. I'm so sorry. If I had a reanimation spell, I would. You are... Go and stand in the corner and think about what you've done. Not happy at all. Oh. Anyway. We shall start, he's so violent, we'll start the next part by with a little dungeon crawl, but uh, until then, I'm just going to leave it then. So thank you very much for watching this slightly long part, uh, longer part. Um, finally got the hacked out mission done, so um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah, take care, uh, thank you very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.